what's going on you guys and welcome back to another video today i want to share with you all an emergency situation that took place at work today and explain to you how the narcissists react to it so during lunch today a student collapsed and we all witnessed it including the narcissist even though she pretended like she didn't see it the child didn't seem to be having a seizure but she was unconscious for a few minutes. So the teachers who were on lunch duty rushed over, checked her pulse, checked to see if she was breathing, and then they opened her eyes. Um, well, she opened her eyes, and she had like tears, but I don't think she was crying. I think that was just a, I don't know, maybe like a nervous reaction to you know, whatever was going on with her body at the time. But it was a scary experience. I was shocked. My other coworkers were shocked. Like, I hate to even get, like, in a little state of shock after witnessing something like that. Because it kind of made me feel like a failure that I wasn't able to do anything. But at the same time, we do what we were taught. And that's to call someone. Or to call 911. And, I mean, everything happened quickly. So it's not like she was unattended for a long period of time. Everything happened quickly. Like I applaud my other co-workers at the school who were able to, to take care of the child and, you know, get her taken care of and everything. So when the school nurse made it over to her side, she just made sure that she kept her eyes open and she talked to her and everything. And then the coaches, they carried her up to the front office until the ambulance got there now. My uh, boss had already called 911. So, like I say, everything, it happened pretty quickly and everybody worked together. And I'm glad to say that the child is okay from what I know so far. Because I haven't heard anything, you know, bad or anything. So, I'm assuming that she's okay. So, when the child first collapsed, everybody, including myself, was in a bit of shock. Meanwhile, at the same time, we were trying to contain the students in the dining area so they won't get too upset because we can tell that they were. They were alarmed as much as we were, but, you know, we just tried to keep everybody calm. And, um, I, like I say, I assume she was checked out at the hospital and she's doing better now, but I don't know for sure. But something that stood out to me the most was the way the narcissist react to the whole situation. The narcissists, they are known for a lack of empathy. And today I noticed just how much she couldn't care less about what had happened to the child. Um, when it first happened, I mean, she ran out into the dining room pretending like she cared, you know, a good 10 or 15 minutes after it had happened. But we were already out there. It was not much we could do other than just stand around and just kind of like, you know, just like, pray God, please bring this child back to consciousness and stuff like that. Like, I hope she's okay because her heart was beating so fast like it was beating out her chest. And then she started to breathe hard and she was shaking it out. I mean, I don't know. It was just something to witness at that moment. And so um, my other coworkers and I, we were already in the dining area because the child fell as soon as she got like a few feet past me. It happened like within seconds of her passing me. Uh, the narcissist didn't even need to be in her workstation at the time. It was nothing to do because that shift was over. And so um, what she did was, uh, you know, pretend like she wanted to clean her area. So I'm like, this is what you do during the time. Now, I'm not really surprised because we're talking about the narcissist. But I just wanted to point that out about the narcissist. They'll find something else to do to kind of tune out what's going on around them. They're not going to give too much of anything, their attention. You know, if it's if it's happened to show empathy for it or, you know, having sympathy for anything, they just don't care. The narcissists always make themselves unavailable for something when they should be a little bit more concerned about it. And she was quick to dismiss herself and then later pretend to show a little concern after the child had gained her consciousness. 
consciousness back. And um but what threw me the hell off is how many times she repeatedly said, Can they just take her out of here? Can they just take her out of here? Now I'm I'm hearing her say this. Everyone else is kind of we all standing around just waiting and watching the stuff like that and just watching the child. Uh, while the teachers and the nurses talking to her. But I'm hearing her. I'm still listening to the nurses. The only thing she's saying is her only concern was, can they just take her out of here? See, because I can't be around nothing like this. This just make my nerves bad. And I'm like, how is it affecting you so much when about 15 minutes ago, you just seemed like you just didn't care what was going on. Like you, you to me, she just was looking like, you know, nothing was going on. She was just going on with the work day. Like she's looking for something to do. And now all of a sudden, oh, can they just take her out of here? Because this makes my nerve bad. I can't be around stuff like this. And they shouldn't keep her in here doing this. I mean, they got an ambulance right across the street. It don't take them that long to get here. And I'm like, what the hell? So am I the only one that hear this? And so, um, I don't know. I just wanted her to just get the hell away from around me. She was standing not too far from me when she was saying all this. I was tuning her out, but at the same time, I couldn't help but just think, like, she really don't have a heart. Like, they are really some cold-hearted individuals. They have a sick way of thinking, like, in the midst of a tragic situation. She had um, called herself trying to inquire about the child's condition later on um, toward the end of the workday. And one of the teachers told her, he was like, and I'm hearing him. He was like, I don't know what the hell was going on. All I know is I had to think back to what we learned in first aid situations for stuff like this. You know, I had to think about what I had to do because that had been a long time ago since I've been in high school. And he kind of was like laughing it off, but not really laughing it off. And she thought that was so funny. She just couldn't contain herself. She just was falling out laughing at it. And everybody just looking at her like, what's so funny about that? Like, it's not even that funny. It's not funny at all. He's just saying, you know, like, we could look at him as the hero because he did it all. And this is one of our coaches. But I still understand what he's saying. Like, I had to think back because I hadn't had to do anything like this. And I had to think back to what we learned back in, in junior high school. That's what he was saying. But it wasn't funny as much as the narcissist made it. So anyway, I'm I'm just um wanted to share that with you all about how the narcissists have a way of just showing that they just don't care in the midst of a tragic situation. They don't care about emergency situations. They will tune it out and pretend like nothing has happened. So anyway, if you all enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.